I'm not sure that being a female rabbi has been particularly helpful in the House of Lords. I think being a rabbi has been helpful in the House of Lords, and there are two of us at the moment. Uh, so the former chief rabbi, Jonathan Sachs, and I are both now cross benches independents in the House of Lords. And I think being a rabbi has been quite helpful in a situation. First of all, I moved from being, if you like, a political um, Lib Dem peer to the cross benches when I came back into the congregational rabbinate. So that clearly I have a different status now. But secondly, you know, the bishops have seats as of right in the House of Lords. So having some rabbis there has been quite helpful. And you, can, you, you have a particular authority talking on some issues as a rabbi. Of course, I don't always agree with Jonathan Sachs, so that's also interesting in itself. You know, very different sorts of rabbis. I think we would be, even if we were both orthodox or both not orthodox, I suspect we would be different, but as it is, we are very different. But yes, it is quite, it is quite an advantage. So talking on some issues, I think, it's been quite helpful. I suspect in the debate on assisted dying, assuming I'm going to be able to speak, because assuming it doesn't run into Shabbat, um, I think that that will be quite helpful. I think people will listen to me differently because I will be at least in part talking about pastoral experience.